my friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, your friendly neighborhood DIYer. And today we are going outside to tackle my front yard garden space. And I tell ya, this is one topic I know absolutely nothing about. My mom is coming down this week to give me some help. We are going to make the most beautiful wildflower gardens one has ever seen. I want this farmhouse to just look glorious from the outside and on the inside. And we're also going to be doing some thrift lifting. So that's also very exciting. So with that said, let's get this crazy garden episode started. Editor, roll the tape. Boop. Hey. One more, hey. two more. Okay. Hey. Okay, so to start this garden episode, I'm gonna walk you through my gardens, where they at, what I wanna do with it, and uh, what we can expect to see in this episode. Don't we love a breakdown like that? But first, we need to go back to Daddy in nature while I give you an update on the little birdies that are in my house. Hi, little friends. Look at, <gasps> they're so big now. Look how big they are. So there's the update. They are like literally fully grown birds now. Okay, so let's do this. We have this lovely tree. I have no idea what kind of tree this is, but it is starting to sprout. It's got little buds. Hey bud. <laughs> we seem to have a collection of rocks in here. This one is the shape of a heart, isn't that darling? So we got some of these things. I don't know what this is, but it has some dead growing things coming out of it. And uh, I guess we're gonna get rid of that. We have some grass related thing here some more of that stuff oh look those are pretty they like kind of look like little roses which have this dead thing growing out of it we got a bush all right more of that squiggly stuff a bush squiggly stuff squiggly stuff uh not sure what that is now i'm pretty sure there's one of these on every window and they're all empty so we'll have to do something about that so other cool stuff in this garden is this old fire hydrant i like this guy i think this is really cool and uh, i want to paint it oh look a bone kenobi okay let me show you one more area that i want to work on we have this little alcove space and so this used to be a garage okay so when Jeff and I moved in we've kind of just been using it as a holding place for a lot of things because it's covered when you pull up to my house this is the first thing that you see and right now we're just calling a bunch of crap in it and that makes me sad so my goal this week is to clean all of this out find new places for a lot of this stuff and reuse this little space for something new and that is like a little garden center you know like a potting place and like make it look pretty then at least when people pull up it's going to be kind of like nice to see i just want a beautiful wildflower garden i want russian sage i want echinacea i want to be able to walk outside my house go pick some wildflowers put it in a bouquet and put it on the table in the summer that is what i want for myself honestly i <laughs> just want to be able to pick my own flower bouquets is that so hard to ask for i don't know all right, back inside into the heat. Like I said, I want to create a cool potting station under that little stoop area. So I did some research and I was flabbergasted by the prices of these things. I'm like, I'm not dropping 300 bucks for that. So I went online, I went on Facebook Marketplace, I did some searching, found a really cool piece that I think I can hack into my own gardening potting station. So with that said, let's go on an adventure. Let's go! turn around and go all the way back an hour and a half. I'm having fun. <laughs>
I'm just waiting for my mom to get here. We're gonna hit up some garden centers because it's literally the only thing open right now in Ontario. So I'm excited to actually like do some form of shopping. And I love the smell of garden centers. It's so fresh and it's so revitalizing and it's just like, I can't wait. Do you know who's coming today? Do you know? It's grandma. Grandma's coming today. She's here. Lots of tools, I don't know what. <laughs> what else we got? We got planters and boxes. Oh, it's a sprinkler. It's a sprinkler? Oh, and it's so on trend with my house. With the copper. Oh, we'll have to put it up and start it up. All right, well let's bring stuff in and then we can go on an adventure. Go on an adventure! Check it out. We got a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of rosemary, Russian sage, firefly sunshine. <laughs> Love that. And then we've got a whole bunch of planters that are gonna be hung up, which are lovely. These are beautiful. But uh, we also got this little friend. <laughs> he's back sore, so he's holding his back. Isn't that darling? At this point now, I think we're just gonna clean up. Um, I'm gonna start tackling the little underpass there and uh, Mom's gonna start cleaning out some of the gardens because we got a lot to take out before we can bring in All right, I'm rolling up my sleeves hard work about to begin right now after I pee <laughs> what you should have done. He just made it so bad. Oh no! no. Now, when you're going to take out the weeds here, What we got here in the middle of this bush and bush is a weed. And we don't like them weeds, so we're gonna pull it out. There is a technique to pulling weeds here, so you really gotta grab it by the nape of the neck and give it a little zhuk, a little zhuk, a little, a little wiggle. Gotta go quick! And then you're gonna see the ground start to move because it's gonna resist you. And then you pull it. And that, my friends, is how you pull weeds. <laughs> Hi, little friend. I shall name you Naruto. What is it? Naruto? Yep. Alrighty, well, it is now five o'clock, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling tired. Boy, we got so much fresh air today. We got all of that stoop area cleaned out. We got all of the gardens cleared. So tomorrow we are ready to start actually gardening. And I'm gonna start on the thrift lift for the little plant station. So I'm really excited. I'm probably going to go to bed at like eight o'clock tonight and sleep very well. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
It is the most beautiful day out. Finally, the wind has stopped. We have blue skies above us and positive attitudes. Positive attitudes, mama, high five. So some interesting things happened yesterday right after we turned off the cameras. We were setting up everything, like putting things away and all the birds in the nest ended up flying coop and they were all like flying away and a mama came and it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So we put everything into the little shed here and like, look at this. Isn't this the most darling thing you've ever seen? It looks like we have our own little like plant shop. <laughs> After seeing this all nice and brown, I'm feeling very conflicted about whether or not I wanna paint it. I think the wood looks so cute. So we have a lot of work to do and uh, we're gonna get started. Mom and I thought it would be kind of funny to play a little game because I realized yesterday I was using all these tools and I had no idea what they were called and she was talking about them and I'm like, what do you, what do you mean? So we decided to play, who's the bigger tool? Me or the tools? <laughs> so mom, you're going to, t you're gonna hold up a tool and then I'm going to tell you what the name of that tool is. Okay, I feel confident. I feel like maybe I know enough. Okay, let me think about this. Kind of looks like a tuna fish that's going <laughs> Hello. Would you call this a, maybe like a, tr a tree a tree trimmer ratchet? Ratchet lopper. A lopper? Yeah, Why? Stem, so you can a lopper. A <laughs> Why would they call it a lopper? Because you can lop off branches. I mean, you can lop but off a lot more than just branches with this thing. Okay, next. Ooh. Whoa, what? Oh, there's a press. I'm going to assume that this is probably for bushes or trees, like a, 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 a tree saw, like a, a, a twig saw. A limb saw. A limb? A small limb saw. A limb saw. Okay, so I got that right. I feel like I was close enough. A saw, a saw is a saw. I saw it and I got it right. <laughs> well, this definitely looks like a, a scooper, like a. It looks like an ice cream scooper. Look at that. That means you could really get the ice cream out of the bowl. I'm gonna go with a dirt, uh, dirt scooper. Soil That's right. Yeah, soil scooper, and it's got the serrated edges so you can dig in and get under. <sighs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, this is like a a a a, tra a, tra a travel a tra a tra no tra a travel yeah a travel handbrake. A handbrake. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's a handbrake. Yeah, duh. It's a rake. I'm such a tool. Uh, I would say that I did not win that. <laughs> Let's go garden! <laughs> Does this feel like alien? <laughs> One more. Two more, actually. <laughs> what about just the top? Just the top? Yeah. What do you mean? Leave the bottom brown and just do the, the top part. I mean, we could just leave it. It could be lovely as a little plant station. Sure. We'll add, we'll add on to it so that we feel like we're kind of giving it some life. Okay, so we're getting ready to start potting and planting everything. We just kind of like started to organize it and uh, I'm so excited. Okay, what's that one? This is called heliotrope. Heliotrope. And it is a stunner. It smells like vanilla. If oh. you can smell it, it has a scent of vanilla. Mm. And it, you put it in the sun on your patio and it, it just, it's intoxicating. So here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, welcome sign. And so how often do I need to water this? Um, I would give it a little drink every day. Cause it... Every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> you know, when you're coming, you can just grab a glass of water. Oh yeah, it's kind of easy. Just remember. Yeah, you will. That looks so good. One down. <laughs> One down, a bajillion to go. I'm gonna go tackle the DIY, yeah. the thrift, and you're gonna keep guarding. I'm gonna garden. I'm gonna go do what I do best, and she's gonna do what she does best. Okay. <laughs>
Moving on to something that I know and love. We're gonna tackle the upcycle of this bad boy. I was going to paint this originally and then I keep looking at it and seeing all the plants on it and the green with like the nice warm wood and I'm having a really hard time with it. So I've decided that I'm going to keep it this color wood because I've fallen in love with it. However, we're gonna do something very cutesy. I wanna do a little decoupaging to really amplify this piece and give it a little personality. So. Hot dog, I'm excited. Slap the table, good project. Well, it will be. Radio. <laughs> Okay, so I did a little test patch of the mesh on the wood and I thought it would go like a little bit more see-through, but it seems like it just goes more white. So what I think I'm gonna do, although I loved the wood color, I think I'm gonna paint this old white because I love this idea more than I love the wood. I think it's still gonna look amazing. It just means that I gotta take off all the hardware, sand down a couple extra sections I wasn't going to and uh, get going on the paint. put a quick like top coat uh, sealer over the whole thing because there was a little bit of a sheen to the obvious um, the, the glue and then we're done you shall not pass <laughs> fool of a took <laughs> Well, DIY friends, the sun is coming down. I'm pretty sure some rain is coming in, so that's good for the gardens. This is all finished. Actually, it's pretty dry now since I put that top coat on. I'm really happy with the way it looks. I also ended up giving it a bit of a scuff sand just to give it kind of like a worn-in look, uh, so to speak. Also, and mom just did like an amazing job on the gardens. It, it looks like it a total 180. I'm so excited for the summer to see these gardens come through. Tomorrow we're gonna finish off this little space. We're gonna get this all working and functional. We're gonna finalize the garden and uh, I think it's all gonna come together. So this has been a very productive few days. I am going to go take my shoes off. I'm probably gonna go shower. <laughs> it's a good thing we don't have smell-o-vision and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, friends. It's a beautiful day today. It's going up to 19 degrees um, Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's beautiful and <laughs> very warm. So excited about that. To start off this day, Mom and I are tackling the the rejuge of the fire hydrant. We've uh, set up a little barrier so that we can spray paint it so it doesn't get on all our beautiful new flowers. I'm gonna give it a beautiful bright red pop. I think it's gonna look chef's kiss. Let's go. All right. So my mom had this sieve and I loved it. I like knew I wanted to do a DIY with it at some point. So I asked her to bring it with her. And we have these old florals. This was like a bouquet that I had um, in the house and make a beautiful little dried bouquet on the inside. And then just use wire to hold it down through the sieve. Okay, so these are fun. My mom brought these. What It says, what a great idea, the pot hook. So they're little plastic hooks in the same color as a terracotta pot. They get hooked on the side and then they hang like this so it's kind of like a low-key way to hang a pot 
So we're gonna have put some herbs in three pots and then hang these guys on this wall back here. Okay, let's hang them. to learning something new. Did I get to garden at all? But I did learn a lot about gardening. Yes, you did. And I have a whole gardening center now. Look at this. Just need to keep them alive now. Right. Every day, watering, every day. I'll be back. I'll be remembering to water them every single day. <laughs> well, let me know, how do you think we did? Did we do a good job in the, well, did she do a good job of my gardens? <laughs> and uh, if you have any gardening questions, let me know down below. I will consult the expert and get her to answer any of the questions that I don't know. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more thrift flips like this. And as always, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Bye-bye.